And you might want to set an alarm for tonight or you'll miss the stunning sights of a total lunar eclipse. I think a lot of folks are looking <laughs> forward to this. Here's Amanda Holly to time out when you need to look up to the sky to see the moon turn red. A lunar eclipse happens when the Earth passes in between the moon and the sun, but a total lunar eclipse only happens when the moon actually passes in this what we call an inner shadow or this hard shadow, and that's what creates that reddish effect, that reddish color on the moon, and it is what we are going to see happen in the Tampa Bay area tonight. So let's talk about those times. You do have to wake up kind of early to see this, but you should do so because the next one does not happen until about a year from now. So the partial eclipse begins at 109 tonight, early Friday morning, and this is essentially when the moon will be a little duller in color. The total eclipse begins at 226 in the morning, and this is when that will the moon will actually turn that reddish color. Maximum eclipse happens at 258 AM. If you're going to go out at any point during the night tonight, this is when it should be because that is when the moon will be at it's full reddish color that you will end up seeing. The total eclipse ends at 331 in the morning, and after that, it will still appear that dark gray color because it'll be in that outer shadow. But again, skies will be really clear tonight, so I do encourage you to set that alarm for at least 258 in the morning. Go out, take a peek, at least peek out the window, and you will be able to see that reddish color. Again, this isn't going to happen until a year from now of another total lunar eclipse, and on March 3rd, 2026, the weather is not necessarily guaranteed.